Hi everybody, today we're going to take a closer look at my original German World War II Normandy camouflage helmets. I absolutely love the paint job on these two helmets and I'm very proud I have these in my collection. Alright, let's start with this one. This right here is an M40, it's a double decal police combat helmet. Here we can take a closer look at the paint. And right there you can see the factory paint was chipped off and later it was sprayed again with camouflage. All over the helmet you can see scratches and stuff like that. Places where the paint is uh, chipped off. That's what I like to see. I like used helmets. As you notice right there on top there is a lot of paint missing. That's because of uh, laying it on the ground, on the side of the trench, everywhere, day in, day out. It's pretty hard to see on the camera but you can still see the original decal right there underneath the paint. Let's take a look on this side. Just look at those beautiful colors. Original rivet. This helmet is actually a uh, vet bring back and I'm actually the first collector who owns this helmet after him. So before I had this helmet, this helmet was still from the uh, US veteran. Here's some more scratches. Also on this side you can see the decal right there. Goes up and like that. So here we can see the front and this is always cool to see. Normally there would be paint right there as well, but because the chin strap went over this a lot of times the paint actually completely disappeared. Right there you can see a very nice bright orange spot. And this is also something that I really really like. If I take the chin strap off very carefully, I'm not gonna take it off further, but as you can see the color difference it's because of sweat, rain and sun. It's very cool to see. It's been there for a long time. Now let's take a look at the liner. The liner and chin strap are in fantastic condition. The chin strap is very nicely marked with the factory and the year 1941. As you can see it's brown right there. It's all sweat and dirt. And the leather is in great condition as you can see. Very soft. It even has initials right there. We can see the lot number right there in the skirt. 8204 and then right here we can see the factory SE and shell size 64. Yep, a very very nice original German World War II untouched, well uh, not completely untouched because I'm actually holding it right now, but you know what I mean, untouched World War II helmet. And now let's take a look at the other one. This right here is an M40 single decal Kriegsmarine Normandy camouflage helmet. I really really like this one. You can see the colors right there, the stripes. It's just beautiful. And again, in untouched condition, nothing post-war at all. This helmet was actually painted with a brush and after that it was spray painted again. This right here is pure history. Just look at the beautiful bright colors. I really really like this helmet. A lot of times people say, oh they didn't have shiny paint, oh they didn't have bright colors. Well that's that's just not true. Some people even say that they didn't have spray paint. So this helmet is just a great example of a untouched original German World War II single decal Kriegsmarine Normandy camouflage helmet. Again on top you can see the paint is chipped off. Uh, from laying it on the ground and uh, maybe bumping his head against the ceiling, uh, maybe inside a bunker. Right there you can see more scratches. Just look at the beautiful red right there. And then the green, some green paint right there. Scratches everywhere, all over the helmet. Let's take a look right there. Here you can see it was definitely spray painted. And now let's take a look this side. Just look at the condition. The original rivets and right here is actually a Kriegsmarine decal underneath the camouflage. It's pretty hard to see on the camera but right there is a golden eagle. You can see a little bit of the gold color right there underneath the camouflage. Yep, like I told you guys many times before I absolutely love this helmet but I just keep saying that, I keep repeating myself. Now let's take a look at the front, take out the chin strap, once again you can see completely worn off. And again this is something very very cool, look at this, can you see that on the chin strap right there? That is green paint right there and right there. And you can see the chin strap was actually like this when they were spraying the helmet, can you see that? That is so cool. 
So yep, it's normally camouflage on the chin strap. Now let's take a look at the liner. Very soft leather, good condition, not dry. Same with the chin strap, just in fantastic condition. See there, some sweat and the size of the liner, 55. We can see the lot number in the skirt right there, DN148. And then we can see the factory right there, Q, and the shell size, 62. Very small size. Just look at the colors, guys. This is such a great example. I'm very, very glad I have these in my collection. Who knows what these helmets saw during combat. Yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.